Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. That was a long walk. I'm going to have to say that. I'm, I'm here at a creek that I hadn't been to in years. But I hope I didn't come here at the wrong time. We haven't had any rainfall in a long time. And this creek right here, it don't have any water in it whatsoever. I mean, there's water in it. But it's very, very low. I didn't expect this. I should have thought about it before I walked on in here. But uh, I'm here. It was a long walk or hike. And we're going to just keep walking down this creek from this point on and look for deeper holes and see what we can catch. Today, it's about catching panfish. I keep looking that way because I'm looking for a deer. There's a lot of deer right in here. I love to see them. I like to sneak up on them. And you can when you're walking down these creeks. But anyhow, let me focus on what we got to do or what we're going to do. And we're going to fish for panfish. Uh, I've got me an ultralight with me. I just brought one reel, one rod with me, two target panfish. And I'm going to be using red worms. And that's it. I've packed real light. I had to. Um, long walk in here. So we're just going to see if we can find a deep hole. That's the most important thing I can do right now. If I'm going to catch any fish, I'm going to have to find some deeper holes. That's where they're going to be. So let's see. Let's walk down that way. There ain't no telling how far, but whatever it takes. Now right up here, Might be a deep hole. Now, what I'm using right here is just a little bitty reel right here. It's a Fluger President loaded with two-pound test line and a Shakespeare Supreme. They don't make these anymore. It's about a 20-year-old rod right here. I wished I had a bunch of these. Great crappie rod or, or you know, fishing for panfish. It's excellent. And I'm not going to use any weight or anything today. I'm just going to use a size 8. Um, that's, a, that's a true turn hook. It's kind of like the Eagle Claw rotating hook. It's designed exactly the same, but it's a true turn. Good hooks. And let's bait up with some red worms right here and then see what we can come up with. I'm going to put two of these on. These are little bitty red worms. I like them though when it's hot. They, they're a lot better than night crawlers. Night crawlers will die. They'll die and dry up on you. These right here are durable. I like night crawlers in the wintertime. There's a red flyer. Okay. A red flyer. Alright, I went down a little piece and I found a bunch of fish right here. There's one right there. Let's see if we can catch him. That's a good one. Right there, folks. Come on, big boy, grab it. I even see a catfish in there. Got him. He went up under that rock right there. Got a lot of fish right here. And we got a Oh, me, 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 me. We got two or three catfish out here in front of us. I may have found the honey hole right here. Now, that's a pretty good red breast sunfish. We got some catfish. And we got some big, I think I seen a big shell cracker there. But we got a bunch of fish right here. I think that's a shell cracker right there. Bite it, boy, bite it. Something else going to beat him. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Let's see what we got. It took a long walk right here before I could find them, but I did. I got the fish found right here. Little bass right there following this. They're hungry. These fish is hungry, moving around, wanting something to eat. But that's a shell cracker. I would love to catch him. My goodness, there's, there's two of them out there. And a catfish. What about this? Let's let this one go. One back. Hey, there's a catfish right there in front of us. And a bass. 
I hope that catfish grabs that worm. He did. He is, I think. Got him. Look at there. Now then, that was fun. I seen him up under that rock, folks. And just pitched that. It was a competition between this channel cat and a little bass about... He wasn't quite as big as this little channel cat here, but I thought the bass was going to win. And he could have if he'd wanted to, but what about that? Now, he's fighting on that two-pound line. That's a lot of fun right here, being able to watch that catfish fight. Usually, you know, you'll catch them in dirtier water, or I do. Watch him. He's putting the steam on there. He is. It's a lot of fun. This is the most simplest way I know of how to how to catch fish, folks. And it's the most enjoyable. All you have to do is be willing to walk. And uh, if you can and if you're able, the farther you walk down these creeks where they're not where they're virtually untouched, the more fish you'll catch. Here, let's that's two pound line. I don't want him to. That is a pretty little fish right there. Quit. Look at there. How clean and he's spotted up. He's young. That's a clean looking little fish. Let him go. Let him go. He's going to get up under this rock. Let's watch him. He's disoriented. There he goes. There's that red ear right in front of me. I hope I can catch him. He's pretty good size. The only one. Grab it, boy. Grab it, grab it, grab it. I believe he got it, folks. Yep, this is a red ear. Yep. See how much harder they fight. I knew I'd finally catch him, but it took a while to do it. That fish is fighting. Look at that. They fight. A red here, red ear. Look, I'm excited right here. I am. They have a lot of power. A lot of power. A lot more than a red, red breast sunfish does. Looky here. I knew I'd get you. That's beautiful. Coming out of this creek. And there's not many in it, but hey, hey, quit, quit. Every once in a while, you get lucky and spot one. That orange right there on this gill flap right there, it just stands out in this clear water. That is beautiful. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Go on back. Look at him. He messed up finally. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't leave till I caught him. Alright. That's what I wanted to do. We're going to move on down and find us another deep hole if we can. And we may have to come back to this one because it is full of catfish and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just absolutely full of them. Let's go on down the creek and see what we can catch. Now, Elmo ain't here today because he had to go get some earwax. I hate to tell this, folks, but he had to go get his earwax out of his ear. I don't know how they do that, but he's having trouble with his ears. Elmo has a lot of problems. He does. But now he's a good old boy. Some of them was pretty good size. I don't think I can throw that far. Well, they're coming to it. Let's see what we got right here. There's one. My goodness. Look here, folks. Two bass. Look at that. Three. Three bass. 
is after that big bluegill. It's a big bluegill. Big bluegill. Come on in here. My goodness, that's a man for a creek. Look up there, look up there, look up there. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Look at there. I scared that old eagle right there. Y'all see him going down through there? When I done the woo thing, he got out of Dodge. Hey, let's catch another one. Woo, woo. fish right there going back. I got several fish right here now in front of us folks but I don't see a, I don't see a big bluegill. Let's see what we can do about it. I'm being real still. One's got it. Let's see what they I think they're little, hey, ain't nothing little about this one. I got to get him over them rocks somehow. Dead, gone it. It's a doggone good one. Red breast sunfish. My goodness, I thought it was a small bass, to tell you the truth. Ain't that pretty. Looking at, look at him, he's fired up. Them colors are firing up. He's mad. I don't blame him. I've said it a lot of times. I don't blame anything for getting mad getting a hook in it. Look at there. Now, that's a good one. That's getting more like it. Way more like it. Go on. Wait. Hey. Wait. Well, go on back. He went up under that rock right there. Mad. Oh, he gives y'all. Uh, I may have been sitting in the and the whole city, and the whole village has been sitting in the So, uh, you know, uh, he, 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 uh, you know what I do, uh, and, uh, he never is completely evil. Look here. Mm. I'll be lucky to land this fish, a two pound line right here on this tree like this. I'm gonna try to hold him out of there. I've been practicing with my little dog. Dad, don't run up under a rock. Right here he is, folks. Let's see if we can get him out. I can't put much pressure on him. There he comes. I'm going to be lucky if I land this one. Yep, he's got the power. When they get that size, they got the power in the creek. I almost brought my one-pound test line. It had been over, but now, right up under there. Ain't that pretty? That is a beautiful fish right there. I have caught so many different, several different species. He'll give up here in a little bit, and we'll get him. That's a little size 8 hook, but it's got him. He's pinned up pretty good. Okay, I got him wore down, I believe. Took some doing. Man, what a pretty fish. Let me move this limb. Step on it, it'll roll me off. Come on in here, boy. Come on, little one. No. Stop. I'm going to let you go. Uh, you won't quit. There he goes. Now, that is a pretty healthy little creek bass, folks. Look. I had him good enough. Is that not beautiful? Now let's watch him go off. Now he's worth it. Watch this. He's tuckered. Him tuckered out, but it won't be long. He'll be feeding again. There ain't no dead blame way that woman can tell me what to do and me way out here like this. I see some fish right there. 
Golly. That one hammered it. That's a good one. He come out from under that rock, folks. He wasn't the fish I was looking at. But he was a lot bigger than the ones I was looking at. <laughs> Golly. He darted out from under that rock and just eat it. Head breast sunfish. Good one. Now, if he did that, there's got to be some more. You would think, let's let him go. Get on back. That old boy walked about two miles down that creek before he caught the first one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. I got King Kong on here, folks. Now I'm in trouble. I cannot believe that fish hit the... Okay. I was hung up on the, on the rock. And that bass swung by. Oh, I got to catch this fish. With that little piece of red worm on there. Well, I snatched it and it just so happened to come off. And when it did, it triggered a bite from this bass. I hope I can get him. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to get under something if I don't watch it. Look at him. I seen him eyeballing that. I don't want him to break off and have a hook in him. Let's get on down here. and I don't want to leave a hook in the fish. Let's see if we can get him out of there. There he comes, there he comes, there he comes. He come out. I gotta take my time here. This is a powerful fish right here. I've gotta wear him plumb down and never even have a chance to land him. Maybe we'll get lucky. This is a good one. For a creek. And for two pound line, that's about all I can handle right here. Come on, boy. get up under something if he knew I was just going to release him <laughs> I got lucky right here <laughs> oh luck was on my side that time there we go quit now hey hey look at there what a beautiful fish folks beautiful Just a little piece of red worm. He didn't want that. It just triggered a strike. Um, I was hung up on that on the rock right here. It's a flat rock. And somehow it got hung up in it just enough to where I had to jerk. And uh, that fish was right there and it just, he responded because it, that hook wouldn't even, the doggone barb wouldn't even bury that was luck. He responded out reflex. Let's let him go right here. Look at him. That's beautiful. Well, folks, I'm going to call it an evening. Um, I got a long track back. A long walk. I don't even know the name of this creek right here, but I want to give... A special shout out to Mark Davis. He let me know in the comment sections that I that I needed to go ahead and make another creek video, so that's what I did, Mark. And um, I don't really know the name of this creek right here, but it's got a lot of quite a few fish in it. But the water's real low, so it required a lot of walking, but we did catch a few. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of good exercise. I guarantee you that. I want to thank y'all for sharing the evening with me. Um, all the great things y'all do, the great comments. Just being out here with me is enough. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for that. Hey. Blue. And remember. <laughs> Go.
Don't beat him when you can. Volcano is good for me.